Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML5 Top 40 Interview Questions and Answer Series. I'm, I'll be covering these questions in two parts. This is the first part of the series. Let's get started. Before we start with the actual interview question and answers, a quick word on HTML and HTML5. HTML is a crucial component of web development. No website is complete or can be written without HTML. HTML is used to create and structure content of the websites. It is very, very essential that everybody, if you want to become a full stack developer or a UI developer, or even for that matter, working with the web applications, you need to know HTML. HTML5 is an enhancement from HTML. There's a lot of new stuff from HTML5, which is semantic web, tags, etc. This interview series will cover a lot of topics from HTML, HTML5 and all these 40 interview question answers will help you learn HTML also. That being said, let's get started with question number one. What is the difference between HTML and XHTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. XHTML is more of a strict HTML. When you make some mistakes of not closing a tag in HTML, it will forgive you. It will not give you any error or anything. Whereas XHTML is much stricter version of HTML, which means if you don't close any tag or if you don't mention attributes, it would give you error. Okay, it will it will throw errors in the console. So that's the difference between XHTML and HTML. Here is a simple syntax. IMG SRC, we can just write it without closing self closing tag. Whereas in XHTML, we have to write slash that is closing tag. So that's the difference between HTML and XHTML. What are some of the new features or in HTML5? This is a, a definite question that will be asked. So you can talk about features like semantic web, which and you can talk about tags like header, footer, nav, main content uh, section article audio video uh, support for canvas uh, geolocation web sockets local storage responsive designs these are all included as part of html5 which are not available in html now let's talk about like i said you will be also learning html as part of this question answer series so brace yourself for that First is, how do you create a hyperlink in HTML? Hyperlink is nothing but a link that you see on a web page. Now we create it using the anchor tag, a tag. We write a and then href is nothing but the URL of where it should go once that link is clicked. How do you create an image in HTML? We will use the img tag to insert an image. IMG tag will take multiple attributes like source, you can also see alt, or you can also mention width, height alternatively. But the important tag that you should mention is IMG. How do you create a form in HTML? Right Now this is a tricky question because form can be done in different ways, but the basic form, the opening and closing will always be inside a form. Okay, so the important tag that you should talk about is the form tag. Form will have action, which is where should the data be submitted once user clicks on submit button. It would have method. That means whether you want to do a post or a get. And then you can add your input field, select, drop down, text area, radio button, checkbox, email, date, all different types of fields input fields you can add inside the form tag okay that is important so how do you create a form we will create form tag first give action and method and then inside the form tag we will write all the input fields that we want to capture the data what is the main difference between get and post methods in submission remember this is often asked to see your understanding of whether you know the difference between how the data is sent the get method sends the form data in the URL, okay? while the po post data will send the data in the request body. Okay? Whenever we hit the submit button, the data is sent over HTTP right, to a URL or an endpoint or an API. 
when you use get method the the parameters can be seen in the URL but when you do a post method the data is hidden it is often submitted as part of the request body in most cases get method is used for retrieving data that is reading the data whereas in terms of post it is used for submitting the data for example when you try to log in you will give your username and password that is an example of post because you are submitting data but when you say get me my emails get all the images that is retrieving or also called get method I have more on this on my channel if you are interested in learning about REST API but understand these are the two main differences of get and post what is the difference between an ID and a class in HTML ID and class are attributes that are given to HTML elements ID as the name suggests has to be unique for each of the element that we provide whereas class can be given to multiple elements in the page for example here you see we are giving ID header that means this is unique in the page only one element can have ID here we are giving class equal to content class equal to content that means these two divs have the same class name classes can be multiple in the web page IDs has to be unique that's the difference between ID and class how do you create a table in HTML to create a table we will use the table tag table tag inside the table tag we can use different tags like table row TR table data we can use T body T head T foot so all these can be used inside the table like this table TR TD TH TD TH is the table header and then table row and inside this you are creating multiple rows using columns like TD and provide the data for it so how do you create a table we use the table tag inside the table tag we will use TR for rows and TD for columns how do you create a list in HTML you, you should talk about that there are two types of lists in HTML an ordered list and an unordered list ordered list is written as OL unordered list is written as UL inside the ordered or unordered list we will provide list items that is li like this ul li li and then the items how do you create a button in html we use the button tag to create a button just give the button and then you mention what text needs to appear on the button and then close the button tag it, using javascript you can add uh, interactivity like on click etc etc but in terms of HTML how do you create it you just write the button tag provide the value insight and close the tag how do you create a drop-down list in HTML for creating a drop-down list we will have to use select tag select will create a drop-down in the HTML page select will have multiple options that is like this option value equal to option 1 and then value 2 and then these are the display values this will create a drop down for you you can have any number of drop down values what is the difference between a span and a div in HTML a span is an inline element which means that it will only occupy the width of that particular element whereas div will be 100% it's a block element so it will occupy 100% width and will always start on the new line span on the other hand continues to be in the same line if there is width right so that's a difference I've already covered this as part of the HTML series on my channel so make sure that you go through uh, the HTML series in order to learn it to write a span we'll write span this is some text div will write div inside the closing and op opening and closing tag remember div is a block element which means it will occupy 100% span will only occupy the width of the content how do you add comments in HTML to add comments we'll use the syntax we'll exclamation mark hyphen hyphen this is a comment then hyphen hyphen close back angle so this is how you write comments in HTML how do you add a video 
to an HTML document. To add a video, we will add the video tag and we will provide the source that is the path of where that particular uh, video is and then provide the controls that whether uh, controls needs to be shown or not. How do you add a link to an HT email address in HTML? To mail, uh, when you have a link and you say contact us and you click on it, it opens up in your Outlook to send an email. For that, you need to mention mail to colon email at whatever email address you want to provide. So when you click on this link, it will try to send an email. Okay, important thing to note, here you will write mail to small case colon. How do you create a button on a on click event in HTML? Use the button tag and the on click attribute to create the button with an on click event. So you write the button tag and then you write on click, which is nothing but an event on this particular element. And then this is the JavaScript code that needs to be executed. It can be a function, it can be a, a statement like this one. How do you create meta tags in HTML? To create meta tags, we will use the meta uh, tag and that is oftenly used in the HTML head section. There are different types of meta tags that can be used. Some of them are meta name equal to description, meta name equal to keywords, meta name equal to author, etc. How do you add a background image to an HTML element? To add the background image, we will use background hyphen image in the CSS property. Okay, that's the CSS property. So we will use background hyphen image, then URL and provide the URL of that particular image. How do you create a responsive layout in HTML? Now we can make use of native CSS grid, right? And write media queries, or we can also write um, custom framework. We can use frameworks like Bootstrap, etc., to design them. But in general, remember the media, we will write media queries. That's the important keyword that the interviewer wants to learn. So media queries, what are they? If it is media is max width is 600, that means if it is up to 600, that means it's a small device. If it's between 600 to 1000, that means it's maybe a tablet or an iPad, something like that. Anything above 1000 will become a large screen. So these are the commonly used responsive media queries. Remember the values because this is something that is often asked. All right, so we'll stop here today. Um, I'll continue this up in part two. Make sure that you see that part as well in order to continue the learning of all the top 40 interview question and answer series on HTML. I hope you're learning. I hope you're enjoying. Keep learning. Keep growing. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next part.